Okay, so walk around this, uh, I think it's a 1994, uh, certainly a very late Land Rover Discovery 200 TDI. <coughs> Finished, I think the car's called Montpelier Red from memory, sort of metallic burgundy. Um, been off-road prepared this one. Um, got lots of off-road bits and pieces on it, which we'll, uh, we'll walk around and tell you about. Starting with a superb set of um, General Grabber AT2 tyres um, on the proper Discovery alloys. Um, really good mud tyred those. Um, it's got a heavy duty uh, front winch bumper, um, winch slots in there. We do actually have, um, at the time the video is made, should we say, it may go in the meantime, um, uh, a spare winch, which um, we won't supply it with the vehicle, but if you want to buy it at extra cost, it's not a problem. Um, probably about 100 quid's worth of winch, I think. Um, but anyway, winch bumper there. Um, it's also got, it hasn't been lifted in fairness, I don't think um, lifting discoveries does them any favours. Um, it's got checker plate um, down the, uh, um, the lower panels of the, the wings and doors, which is uh, the norm on these. It's also got um, heavy duty jackable sill covers on it, um, so they can uh, come up. Apart from that, Ranger, uh, lab, discovery wise, it's got electric mirrors, um, it's got um, roof rails with crossbars on, uh, privacy film to the rear uh, windows. It's also got um, a rear ladder, uh, spare wheel cover. It's got heavy duty rear bumper. You ain't going to bend those bumpers, I tell you. Um, they're really, really strong on the, on those. Heavy duty rear bumper. Uh, factory tow pack with electrics, uh, mud flaps. And that's about it. We'll walk around and give you a bit more detail on it. Has been used for green laning, so um, whilst the body isn't dented or anything like that, it has got a few scratches and things on it. Um, starting with the bonnet, the bonnet has got one, two, three, four, five areas where the lacquer has, um, has, has peeled and blistered. Six areas, in fact, there's another one there. So we've got one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there, um, which doesn't look um, particularly wonderful, it's fair to say. Uh, seven, in fact, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, seven areas where the lacquer has peeled. Uh, easiest thing to do, in fairness, is either live with it or um, possibly have the bonnet repainted or get another bonnet. Or don't bother about it. Entirely up to you. It depends what we're going to use it for. Um, but yes, that's that's the bonnet. And there's also, also a couple of scratches on here, which would we'll probably polish out. Looking down the near side, it all looks really straight and true down there. Uh, there's no parking dinks or bad dents or anything. Um, obviously the heavy duty bumpers, as I say, you can't bend them, um, so they're in great shape. Uh, another tiny bit of lacquer loss just down there on the near side front wing. And there's a couple of very minor hedge scratches which probably would polish out in the near side wing along there. Um, obviously had, the paint's a bit dull though, so it presumably it's had a little bit of paint work just there on the front of the near side door. Um, hedge scratches once again on the near side door, near side front door just along here. May polish out, most of them. Uh, once again, a little bit of lack of loss just there around the um, around the passenger door lock. Um, screen on the passenger side is fine. Roof is fine. Inside here, interiors remarkably good on this one actually for 200 TDI. Um, the interiors aren't known to last particularly well, but this one seems to be fine. Um, it hasn't got sunroof, so you're not going to get the nasty leaks that uh, these some ones get either. Um, what else have we got? The dash is nice. And uh, that's all good there. Only thing that is happening, um, with the, it's really, really hot today and the mirror keeps um, keeps falling off of its thing because of the heat. The, the glue keeps melting in there, so uh, it does go back on when it's cool. Um, it's pretty minor. Uh, so yeah, interior is nice. Doesn't smell or anything nasty in there. Um, near side rear door, once again, a few hedge scratches, a big one along there probably can't polish that one out in fairness and there's a big bit of lacquer loss just there on the near side rear door and a very tiny parking dink just there um, inside here it's had the uh, the depot done at some point that's been uh, been repaired quite well by the look of it quite solid um, nice in the rear once again that's, uh, that's all good uh, near side rear um, rear wing has got lacquer loss around the near side rear arch just there um, and has got some scuffing just here on the back of the near side rear wing where it meets the, the uh, where it turns the corner by the lights. There's some scuffing here. Hasn't dented it at all. It's just been scuffed against uh, something. Um, it's scuffed the side of the uh, the near side um, heavy duty rear bumper as well. Tailgate's got a little bit of electrolytic reaction on the bottom edge, um, but otherwise fine. 
Oh, there goes my trade plate. Interior in the back here is all good, except it hasn't got the carpet in there anymore. Um, no carpet in the back. At least you can see what the uh, what the boot floor is like, which is all uh, uh, all nice and uh, say nice enough for the MOT man. Um, recently, it's got the the seven seats. It's got the rear folding seats in the back, but say no carpet. Um, but it doesn't smell or anything like that in here. The only thing it hasn't got is the load cover. So it's got, well, yeah, it's got the, the mountings for the load cover, but the load cover didn't come with it. It's also got the original jack and um, wheel brace and uh, um, chock and everything that they go under the bonnet normally. It's, uh, so it's popped them in the back for some reason. Um, so yeah, nice in the back there. Walking around the offside, we've got, um, so once again, looks pretty straight down the offside. We've got, again, some, um, some scuffing around by the light unit, between the light unit and the petrol filler. Uh, just down here, a bit of scuffing on the on the on the, on the offside rear wings. Um, big scratch along there, and big scratch along there. They aren't going to come out. Um, offside rear door has got a little bit of electric reaction just on it, just there. But uh, otherwise, it's remarkably good. Um, offside rear corner. Once again, it's had the the offside rear D post done, um, but it's nice in the back there. Um, Offside front door, a couple of tiny marks on it, but no more than you'd expect. It's otherwise good. Offside front wing, tiny depression just there, parking dink, and a bigger scratch just there, um, and a couple of other sort of little little scratches on the offside front wing. But as I say, it has been used for a green laner, so um, uh, you know <laughs> it's what you expect really. Um, offside screen is nice once again, no problems there. Interior wise. Uh, driver's seat is nice, it's not um, badly worn or anything or badly collapsed, that's all in good shape. Dash is nice, it's all really clean inside actually. Um, it's a nice vehicle. Right, my name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries with this uh, late 200 TDI um, discovery. End.